I'd like to begin our prepared speeches at this time. I'd like to first introduce our first speaker, um, who will be completing his third speech from the Competent Communicators Manual. And his favorite dinner experience was in the 1970s in grad school. I think he actually invented a new form of dinner party called <laughs> Gorgies, where him and his spouse and friends would eat continuously at a very small pace. Arnie Buss will be giving, as I said, his third speech from the Competent Communicators Manual entitled, Why I'm Here. Arnie. So why am I here? Well, why are you here? Well, I can't talk to why you're here. I can only talk to why I'm here. So that's why I'm going to talk about why I'm here. <laughs> well, Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, distinguished guests, why do we come here once a week and sit for an hour in a room talking to each other? Why do we engage in this strange kind of discourse have you ever tried to explain it to someone who doesn't know what Toastmasters is? What the heck is that all about? Now I'm going to talk about three reasons why I'm here. Three of the most important reasons. Some of these may be reasons that you share, and one may be surprising. The first reason is to overcome the fear of public speaking. The second reason is to improve public speaking. The third reason well, that's perhaps the most important, and I'll get to that later. As my son once told me when he came home from school as an elementary student, he said, Dad, how do you keep a turkey in suspense? <laughs> I said, I don't know. He said, I'll tell you tomorrow. <laughs> I guess the apple doesn't fart. It fall too far from the tree. <laughs> but why am I here? To overcome the fear of public speaking. Now, it's a well-known fact that when polls are conducted, the fear of public speaking is even higher than the fear of dying. And as Jerry Seinfeld once quipped, that means if you're at a funeral, you'd rather be the corpse than the guy giving the eulogy. Imagine that. Public speaking is something almost everybody is afraid of. It strikes fear in the heart of almost every individual so whether you have to give a presentation at work, whether you have to present a project in your class, whether you just have to stand up in a meeting and say something reasonably intelligent, your heart starts pounding, and you're just totally terrified. And even the thought of doing something like that just raises terror. So by coming here in Toastmasters, week after week, we overcome that fear, because that's what we do every time. Whether we're giving a speech, as I am now, whether we're giving a timer's report, a grammarian's report, an odd counter's report, an evaluation, or speaking in public. So coming to Toastmasters helps us overcome that fear. I remember the first time I was timer. I was absolutely terrified. <laughs> Why? Why? No reason. <laughs> Second reason for coming to Toastmasters, improving public speaking. Wait, you get better at things that you practice. And what better way to practice speaking than to, well, speak. <laughs> well, and that's where the first one gets in the way, because if someone wants to get better at speaking, but they're too terrified to get up and speak, then how are you going to get better? We come here and we give prepared speeches, like the one I'm giving now. Or we have impromptu speeches, such as the wonderful table topics that we just heard. That's all practice in our public speaking. By the practice of public speaking, you get better. I mean, it's a simple equation. <laughs> you get better at that thing that you practice at. So I come to Toastmasters to improve my public speaking. And one of the things that I've done is increased my objectives. I first came because I wanted to get a little better. As a, as a teacher, I thought, well, 
I could improve the way that I was in the classroom. I'm not sure my students would agree <laughs> with whether that's happened. In fact, my evaluator is a former student, so <laughs> But since then, by competing in contests, I've decided to set even higher goals. And I've learned to deal with both success and failure. So I've had success in winning club contests. I've had success in winning area contests. I've had success in winning division contests. I've, well, it ends there. <laughs> <laughs> But when it comes to the district, I can say proudly, I am number two. <laughs> so we come to Toastmasters to overcome this fear of public speaking, and we come to Toastmasters to improve our public speaking. Or that's why I come. And I think that's why many of you come. But let's re-examine the fear of public speaking and whether or not it's really more scary than dying. So imagine this thought experiment. You're traveling in an airplane when it gets taken over by hijackers. And at gunpoint, you are given the choice of jumping out of the plane without a parachute or delivering a five to seven minute speech to the other passengers. <laughs> Which would you choose? Which would anybody choose, even if they'd never been to Toastmasters? So it's not fear of public speaking that really drives us, it's the fear of messing up. It's the fear of looking foolish in front of everybody else. And that leads to the third reason why I come here. And that third reason is because of the environment that we set here. This is a place where anything can happen and I won't be judged. I might get feedback about what I could do better, but I'm not going to screw up, no matter how bad I do it. Isn't that amazing? Sixty years ago, the psychotherapist Carl Rogers discovered that just by giving a client undivided, unconditional positive regard, that improvements could happen in their psychological state, and that formed the basis of his therapy. That's what we do here. We give unconditional positive regard. We don't have to agree with what the speaker is saying. We don't have to feel that the speaker is an outstanding speaker, just that they can get better, and that they have unconditional positive regard in what they're doing, and in helping to improve, and helping to get better. And that's a very special and unique kind of thing. Because in classes, in our jobs, we're always being criticized, knocked down, made to fail. And here in Toastmasters, we cannot fail. And so I come to Toastmasters to overcome my fear, to improve my speaking, but most importantly, because this wonderful, safe environment. And Toastmasters.